There's been so much talk over the past few years about Square Enix and their ethics department censoring their games before we as consumers can actually experience them. They tone down female characters' body types because they know specific people in the West will complain about unrealistic body proportions. They add layers and layers of clothing because loonies on Twitter will cancel them if they dare to show skin, and now a recent job listing has revealed details about their censorship ethics department. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting the channel via YouTube membership. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So this article says Square Enix job listing provides details on ethics department, confirms focus on discriminatory, prejudicial, or offensive content. A recent job listing for Square Enix has revealed details about their infamous ethics department, including how its members work to remove offensive content from the publisher's games. I used to love Square Enix, and I still do to a certain extent, because they do have some amazing franchises, don't get me wrong, but the more games they release, the more we hear about things like ethics departments and them wanting to focus on Western markets and make their games appeal to Western audiences, aka tone them down, don't put any offensive content in them, don't put any sexy characters in games. They're afraid of the Western market, specifically the people in it that like to cancel companies. These details were recently brought to the public's eye courtesy of a Twitter user who on March 26th highlighted a staff interview found on a Japanese Square Enix recruitment page, wherein the 2016 hire noted that she worked the company's quality control department and takes pride in how the result of my work is that users can play to the end without any discomfort. It says a machine translation of the interview provided by Deep L confirms, as proposed by the translation, that she worked specifically for the Square Enix Ethics Department. She explains that after starting out as an online games developer, she eventually became a member of the Quality Control Department's ethics team, where her job reportedly entails checking all games developed by the company for ethical expression. Specifically, she elaborates, I check all game expressions, including scenarios, illustrations, designs, effects, to ensure they do not contain expressions that are discriminatory or offensive, and that they are in compliance with the game rating. Now, I completely understand they have to watch the content they're putting in a game so that they can get the rating they want, but these ethics departments are doing more than that, just like with Tifa. They toned down her bust area and changed her clothes in the Final Fantasy VII Remake and said, oh, it's for the sake of realism. Do you really think they did that because they were afraid it would change the rating of a game? Do we really think they're worried about realism? Of course not, and that's the problem. It's not like they're creating a game that it's right on the edge of being adult rated, they're worried about backlash. As I talk about all of the time, these developers aren't afraid of games getting a higher rating than anticipated. They're afraid of being cancelled because if you get cancelled and the vultures on social media are attacking your game, you could potentially lose sales and that's what they're worried about. The problem with that though is that the people who whine, moan, groan, and complain about sexy characters or offensive jokes in games don't actually buy the product, so they're trying to make this game appeal to a group of individuals who wouldn't have swiped their credit cards for it in the first place. I had covered the Tifa situation in depth back when it happened, but I wanted to reference this article quickly. It was from 2019. It says Final Fantasy VII Remake Director confirms Tifa's chest was tightened because of ethics department at Square 
Enix. The Final Fantasy VII Remake director confirmed that her chest was tightened. It says, we wanted Tifa to have abs, so she now has more of an athletic body type. The ethics department at Square Enix also said we had to tighten her chest so it doesn't look unnatural during all of the intense fighting. Because of that, we added black thigh highs and a tank top, which made absolutely no sense. So this director is admitting that the ethics department told them they couldn't do something specific with their character. She could have had big boobs and had abs at the same time. You are not telling me that she couldn't have. And then on top of that, they added these black thigh highs. They added this black tank top underneath her original white top. I mean, they went kind of crazy with the censorship with Tifa. She did look good, do not get me wrong, and that's a big part of it, is that they didn't make her look like a completely different character, but at the same time, we knew the censorship was there. We could clearly see the redesigns with her model and also her outfit, and it bothered a lot of people, and a lot of people ended up not supporting the game because of it. Describing the best part of the job, they said, What I try to keep in mind in this job is that my work is not memorable to the user in a positive sense. For example, if there is a typo in the scenario of an emotional scene in the game, or if there is an expression that makes the user feel uncomfortable, it will spoil the experience of the game. And if we were just talking about things like typos or maybe facial expressions on characters, and these people looked at that and went, Hey, I think that maybe they're smiling a little bit too much in this really sad emotional scene. Maybe the dialogue could be slightly changed to make it more emotional. Um, I do think that, yes, there do have to be people that look at that and kind of make those decisions, obviously. But at the same time, we know they're doing more than that. We know that they're looking at outfits and they're saying, hey, you have to change this. You have to tone this down. Oh, this dialogue is a little bit too offensive. You can't use these dialogue options, which is the massive problem. Again, if they were just fixing typos and slightly altering maybe facial expressions and slightly rewording something to make it better for the scene it was fitting in, I don't really think that people would care, but that's not what they're doing. Drawing her interview to a close, she states few game companies have a dedicated ethics team like ours, and I don't think that that's a positive thing because over the past few years, people have talked about Square Enix and ethics teams and lots and lots of censorship, and people do not like that. That is not something that's positive. I understand that this is like a job listing to try to get people interested in joining your team, but as a consumer, that's not a positive thing thing. It really, really isn't. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give the video a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.